So to finish off our discussion of Lewis structures here, we've got to talk about what are termed formal charges. Now, formal charges are simply a way of keeping track of who's got more or less than the normal number of valence electrons they'd have. Uh, and the way this works, there's a formula for formal charge. So and you see it here. Uh, the normal number of valence electrons minus half the bonding electrons, as well as the non-bonding electrons. So my personal favorite, though, is to use the second example here. So formal charge is the normal number of valence electrons minus the dots and lines around it. The dots being the lone electrons or the non-bonding electrons and the lines being the bonds around it. Notice we're only going to count the bonds once as a single line, uh, not actually count the electrons there. So the way this works, take a look at this first structure. Uh, you guys are asked to assign formal charges for all these. Uh, so if we look at in the case of like hydrogen, hydrogen's got one valence electron and each of the hydrogen has one line around it. And one minus one is zero. And all the hydrogens, three, all three of them here, have no formal charge. Now in the case of carbon, carbon's normal number of valence electrons is four. And minus one line, two lines, three lines, four lines, four minus four is zero, no formal charge. Same thing for the next carbon, four minus one, two, three, four lines is zero. So the oxygen up top, so we've got his normal number of valence electrons is six. Six minus two lines and one, two, three, four dots, six minus six is zero. No formal charge there as well. And finally, for this last oxygen, six minus, in this case, one line and one, two, three, four, five, six dots. So six minus a total of seven equals negative one. And so we'd write a negative formal charge next to the oxygen here. So he's the only atom in this structure that's got a formal charge. So we'll do the same kind of thing here. So all the hydrogens have one bond each, and one minus one is zero. So no formal charges on any of the hydrogens. So carbon here, four valence electrons minus one, two, three, four lines, and no dots. Four minus four is zero, no formal charge. And finally, for nitrogen here, so five is his normal valence, and he's got one, two, three, four lines and no dots, so five minus four, and he's got a plus one formal charge. So finally, moving on to this last structure, if we start with the chlorines on the outside here, chlorine's normal number of valence electrons is seven, and every single one of these chlorines is exactly equivalent in how they're represented. They all have three lone pairs and one bond. So in this case, if we do seven minus, in this case, we got one line, so one, two, three, four, five, six dots, seven minus seven comes out to zero, no formal charge on any of the chlorines. So, and finally for the aluminum in the middle, his normal number of valence electrons is three, and he's got one, two, three, four lines and no dots, and three minus four would give him a minus one formal charge on the aluminum. And just write that symbol next to the aluminum atom there. So that's kind of the, the little quick cheat for no informal charge here. So um, personal take is that you're much more likely to remember the second formula here than you are the first, but if you've got it down already, fantastic. But you do definitely need to understand how to assign formal charge. One thing to note, if you find an atom who's making some number of bonds that's uh, other than its typical number, good chance it has a formal charge. Not for sure, there's a couple exceptions, but a good chance. So again, if you look at this first structure, carbon typically makes four bonds, and when, f when you make four bonds, you don't have uh, a formal charge here as in the case of carbon. Same thing for this carbon. So if you notice this oxygen though, is making only one bond, whereas this one's making two and two's the normal number. The oxygen up top making two bonds has no formal charge, but the one only making one bond does indeed have a formal charge. Notice same thing here, nitrogen normally makes three bonds. Well, this nitrogen's making four and definitely ends up with a formal charge. You also remember that aluminum is an octet rule violation. You typically only want six electrons around them, not eight. So typically making three bonds, therefore not four. And so this aluminum is also not making the typical number of bonds and ends up with a formal charge. So again, a little quick uh, way to recognize atoms that might be uh, having a formal charge is just any atoms not having the normal number of bonds. So not a guarantee. So one way or the other, but definitely a little quick trick to get there.